here. It's already Ash Wednesday. It's the first day of Lent in the Western calendar. And how do we take seriously our faith and our, our turning in this season towards the, the joy of Easter, but knowing the paradox of it, it comes through a cross? Mm-hmm. And the, the season of Lent, it's, it's worth kind of articulating, Jed, that it, the early church, to go all the way back to where we started in terms of conversation about our baptism, what does our baptism mean? And as Martin Luther King said, some of us know baptism by sprinkling and some of us know it by immersion, but we, we all know baptism. And the season of Lent was in the ancient church where initiates, those who were new converts, were un- undergoing a season of um, fasting and almsgiving and prayer to prepare for their baptism at Easter. And because of the nature of discipleship, how the church responded is what these new converts are going through, we we will identify with them and even with their sin that we too will make this a season of repentance for us. Um, And this is the tradition of like identificational confession and what it is to enter into the confessions of others as if it was your own Mm. sin. And this is a very important aspect of the Gaza ceasefire pilgrimage. Our, our, our core values, our last one, is that we engage in this as an act of repentance. Yeah. The, this is a repentance, you know, the sins of omission, the things that we haven't done, the silence that we've held um, when for our own safety or security or uh, regard, we, we have held our tongue and uh, we have not organized and we have not risked anything and we're owning that. But also what our churches and our society has done uh, and for some of us we might like pridefully go no no that's not my sin that's theirs and yet there's something about the nature mm-hmm. of Lent and what it is to undergo the reality and the power of Easter in light of the cross where we identify and enter into and weep over that which dehumanizes others even if we haven't done it oh, man. and the sins of commission which is the, the sins of where you know my nation is selling weapons to the Israeli government, which is being used to kill Palestinian Christians. And there is a, a, a certain response, which is very popular, where we're like, not in my name, and I understand it, and I've changed that, and I know what we're talking about. But in another sense, no, no, this has happened in our yeah. name, and we need to face That's it. Right. That we are all caught up in systems that are complicit, and this isn't about like removing ourselves so we're there better than others, but actually what it is to own that in such a way that we can open it yes. to the work of the Holy Spirit, that it can be transformed, yes. that we can actually do something with that, not by editing it out, airbrushing it, photoshopping it, but by bringing it out into the open and going, we need to face yes. this as a people, a- a- as a church, as a nation, as a world, we need to face these things.